Hello and welcome back to the King Cole YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the bu bubble stitch and for this we use an abbreviation that's called K5B which is knit five below um, and it can send people into a little bit of a panic but it doesn't need to as long as you do it in a methodical way. So the bubble stitch you basically are ending up with these bubbles in your knitting. Um, it's quite quite cute it's not difficult to do and we have it on one or two of our patterns which um, it'll be referenced later but I'm going to start off by showing you what we do. So in order to create this bubble stitch you actually have to have some rows of plain knitting so plain stocking stitch between. For our particular version we are using five rows um, where you do purl a row, knit a row, purl a row, knit a row purl a row and so you're ending where you've now on your next knit row. So for the few stitches that I've cast on I need to just knit two at the beginning. This bit can be different for depending on what you're knitting and what the pattern tells you but just for demonstration purposes um, I've got a knit two at the beginning of my row. Now the, one, the main stitch for this is the K5B, the, the knit five below and this is the bit that um, causes people a bit of stress. So it's actually quite a simple one to do. So what you're doing, you're counting five rows down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to put my needle into that stitch. Then you slip it off your left needle and you pull those rows back and as long as you've got your needle in the right place it will stop when you get to this fifth stitch here. You need to keep all the other pieces over the top of your needle and then we're going to just knit the stitch in a normal way. So wrap, bring it through there, okay, and then it kind of catches all this lot, wraps it all in now for our bubble stitch we are knitting three stitches in between. Um, it's usually, well it should be an odd number that you do, it could be maybe five between but on ours we're just doing three knit stitches. So then we're going to do another K5B, so one, two, three, four, five, pop your needle in nice and secure, slip it off the other needle and pull it back, okay, all the way back and then wrap and bring it through. So we've caught the stitch that's five rows below, so we've actually knit that stitch. Then I'll just do one more, okay, we've got three across, one, two, three, four, five, put your needle in slip it off the left needle, pull it all the way back, wrap, bring it through so you knit that stitch <clears throat> and then one, two, three, and we'll just do one more then we're at the end of the row. So one, two, three, four, five, slip that off, all the way back, just gently wrap, knit that stitch, knit two. So your row might feel a little bit <clears throat> odd at that point but it isn't, that's what you should end up with. So you've got all these loops here at the back of each one and the back of your work will look something like this. So these are all your long stitches where you've done your K5B on the back. Um, <clears throat> so that's given you your bobbles on the way across and after this you would then do five more rows of stocking stitch starting with a purl row and then you would work another row on your K5B on the stitch where you told. So it does, the K5B moves and that way you get your bobbles offset with one another. Um, but basically once you've learned how to do the K5B then the pattern just just follows through. So 
don't forget to like and subscribe and then anything that we post will come up for you. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye bye.